Hi all, and I welcome you all to my next video on setting up side-to-side -side VIP internal between a 5 LTM device and Cisco ASC. Setting up a side-to-side -side VPN uh, between iOS is nothing new and everyone is must be quite aware of it, but setting up between an F5 LTM device and Cisco ASA was still new, so I thought to put up a video. The task can be achieved uh, in just four steps. The configuration is very simple and we're going to achieve it within four steps. On that note, let's jump in. For this demo, we're going to use this topology where the F5 is configured with a self IP of 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10 and the, its internal network is been shown as 192.168.18.0/24. That is trying to set up a VPN tunnel with Cisco ASA, which has an internet outside IP address 10.10.10.120 and its internal LAN inside address is 192.168.132.100. And that has a downstream router 192.168.132.99. So let's jump in and set up the VPN tunnel. The first for most stuff, we're going to configure the phase one parameters on F5 LTM. So we go to under networks, IPsec and IK peers. Over there, we define the peer address IP. That's a Cisco ASA IP address 10.10.10.120. And followed by IKE phase one parameters, that is the authentication al algorithm, encryption, and the defi hellman forward secrecy. So unlike Cisco ASA, we don't uh, define the public keys we're going to use. It still uses the terminology forward, forward secrecy. And if you see under the dropdown, you will see options like MODP, 1024, and et cetera. But in ASA, you're going to find some configuration like group one, group two, group five, and group 14, 15, 16. So you need to ensure that the, the options you select over here must match what you have on ASA. So if in, in our scenario, we have used uh, the perfect forward secrecy option as mod 1024 that corresponds to group two on Cisco ASA. If you just go back on our ASA and try to uh, see the configuration, we, Okay, so over here we can see that this is the policy what we have created. So I'm going. I'm not going to explain how to set up configuration on Cisco ASA because I believe there are lots of videos and documentation available. So I will just try to uh, on every step I will try to correlate how we have done it on our peer device. That shows uh, the pre shell key uh, what we have used on ASA, the AES two fifty six and Group two. Because group two over here, as you can see, corresponds to 1024 mod P. So that corresponds to a setting on F5. So that's how we have configured our real time F5 device as well. Oops, I have to log in again. Yeah, so if you go under the network IKPS, if you log in into there, we can see the remote address of Cisco ASA. That's 10, 10, 10, 120. That's what we have placed it on our F5 device and the authentication parameters. The rest of the stuffs like Natty, we can configure, but we are, for now, I'm going to take it as default. We do have an option to configure IKV2 as well. Coming back to our slides, uh, we can also configure uh, the phase two parameters once we have done with the phase one where we again have to define what kind of authentication IPsec algorithm we are, we are likely to use and what mode of tunneling we have, we are opting, tunnel transport or, ten, or any IPsec interface as well. So these three options are available and we have defined uh, the tunnel source address from F5 and to the tunnel remote address. If you look into our topology, that should match what, uh, what we are trying to place in. So 10, 10, 10, 10, the self IP of F5 and 10, 120, that's what we mentioned on the ASA. Nice and easy, right? And the 
IK phase two encryption options. That's basically the, the transform set what we define on our ASA. Let's look into the configuration of ASA now. Okay, so within the ASA, we can see the transform sets. That's for the IK uh, IPsec phase two parameters. Uh, we have used AES-256 following by the hash. Similarly, I have opted for AES-256 following by the hash algorithm that is SHA-1. Perfect. Easy, isn't it? Now we're going to proceed further. Finally, we have to define a crypto ACL. So crypto ACL is, uh, I've, I've used the same term uh, just to ensure that uh, we it, it, it falls on the same lines <laughs> what we have done on our ASN. So the crypto ACL define the interesting traffic. Although it has an option to configure uh, both end direction as well, but we can configure uh, uh, crypto ACL for single directions as well, like one way or two way. So we define the interesting traffic. If we again look back into the topology, so the source IP that is 18.0, uh, that sits behind the F5 and the destination network that is 132, which sits behind the Cisco ASA. So that's the interesting traffic we, are, we want to send across the VP internal. And that's what we are looking for. Perfect. Finally, uh, the last step, the last fourth step, uh, if you want to achieve an F5 LTM, so it's to configure a forwarding virtual server. So there has been lots of question uh, because when we configure as per the steps mentioned by F5 on their KB articles, the rationale behind using, creating this virtual server is to configure our F5 LTM as a router because uh, F5 LTM is, as, as its design is working as a reverse proxy, where the source and destination addresses are changed when they communicate to their pool members. But now we are not, if you don't want to use it, we, uh, we have to configure a forwarding virtual server. Right now I've configured source address and destination address as 0000, and rest of the stuffs are kept as default. And uh, we have uh, forwarding IP configured, and the protocols we have used as TCP and uh, fast L4. But if you see in my lab scenario, uh, you see, you can change it as per your requirement. If you go back to the FLTM, that's my uh, virtual server, source and destination, all ports, all protocols. Now, here's the key. So if you want to enable it for a certain protocols or certain uh, UDP protocols or TCP protocols, we can define it over here. Because if I use only TCP, the ICNP ping will not work. So in that case, you have to choose your options very wisely as per your, uh, your customer's requirement and set it up accordingly. And if in case uh, you want, you can also customize your list. You can't, you don't need to place source and destination addresses as 000 every time. If we look into our topology, we could have used the source address as 18, 192.168.18.0 and destination 192.168.132.0 as well, rather than 000 and 000. So since it is a lab, I, I, had, I have that luxury to use it. <laughs> okay. So in, 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 my, in my case, I have uh, used protocol as all protocols because I, because I wanted to test an ICMP ping. So that was my reason. And that's it. The configuration and the VPN configuration is achieved within the four steps. So let me give you, a, give you guys a quick demo again, how I achieved it. Go back into the network settings and IPsec and IKPA. Similarly, I defined an IKPA as mentioned in my slides. I'm going to paste the link of the slides within my uh, link below. And uh, you can easily refer to this VPN configuration from the slides again. We, then we went back to providing phase two details within the IPsec policy, where we have chosen ESP internal mode and the phase two parameters. Just ensure that we, we place these lifetimes uh, accordingly because the configuration within the F5 is mentioned in minutes, but on ASA it's mentioned, it's mentioned in seconds. So you have to use your calculator to and provide that value accurately. Then we finally went back into the traffic selector section where we defined and the IPsec 
uh, crypto ECN. Either we, we can define in uh, the direction as both a single policy or we can define either in a one-way policy. So that's how I've done it. But in my slide, I think I have shown you an option of both. So either way, it will going to work. I think, and finally, the last but not the least, the virtual server setting, what we have done within the virtual servers, we have provided the, the addresses, the destination range where you would like your F5 to work as a router. In your real time, you might not be allowed to use 000. So in that case, you have to define, replace the 000 with these network ranges. That is uh, slash 24. And uh, I think in that case, the F, your uh, F5 will work as a router for these specified ranges. And rest of the stuffs we have left as default. No pool members. Yeah. No wide rules, no pool members. I think everything will go to work as simple as it can. And configuration on ASA. So we have used the crypto maps and the crypto ACL. So that's the. Uh, Okay, that's an interesting traffic. The source is behind the, uh, this source is behind the, the ASA 132.0, this class C subnet and trying to reach to the network behind F5. Perfect. So now we're going to try, uh, that's, this is the Windows uh, guest I'm going to bring in. That's a Windows uh, guest and is trying to uh, connect to a router that's that sits behind uh, that sits behind the the ASA 192.168.132.19 and that's its address. It sits behind this guy behind the ASA. I'm go, this guy uh, from the Windows 7. I'm going to try to ping it. The ping is working like a charm, right? And we're going to go back first on Cisco ASA and see. Was the status of the VPN internal? Perfect, isn't it? And if you go back on our F5 device, we can see the F5 uh, is is also responding perfectly fine. Okay. Yeah, so I bring up the screen for F5. So this is the command that shows the phase one parameters. It shows the phase one, and that's the PRI address with the port 500. Nice and easy. In the phase two. We can even look into the logs. It shows how the communication happened. Perfect. So the VPN configuration is working. The phase one, phase two parameters are up. And finally, we have achieved our, our objective. So I've mentioned the configuration and all these commands, what I have used uh, for troubleshooting purposes within this uh, slides, which you can definitely refer to it uh, uh, from, from this link below. And thank you for your time. And uh, please, if you have any questions, you can just place your questions within the comment section and I will definitely revert back to you all. Thank you and have a nice day.